Now on today in New York, the search for the suspect in a shocking crime on an MTA bus. And wait until you hear the age of the alleged victim. Plus, decision day, Mayor de Blasio could be getting closer to a bid for the White House when he could make the final call. And we're waking up to some sprinkles this morning, but it's expected to get worse before the weekend is out. Details next from Storm Team 4. Today in New York starts right now. Good morning. Welcome to Today in New York on this Saturday, May 4th. I'm Wale Ali. You Storm Team 4 is Erica Grove joins us now with the morning forecast. Erica. Thanks, Erica. We will see you in a little bit. New this morning, the NYPD needs your help. They're looking for a man wanted in a case of sexual abuse on an MTA bus. Here's the guy they need to find. Police say yesterday morning, a 10-year-old girl was on an MTA bus when a 45-year-old man grabbed her behind. Brooklyn police are investigating a deadly accident involving a man hit by a postal truck. Here's surveillance, which shows the U.S. postal van stopped in the crosswalk. 52-year-old Charles McLean walked in front of it right before the driver hits the gas. We stopped just before the moment of impact. McLean leaves behind five-year-old twin daughters and an adult son. This morning, an investigation is underway after a Boeing 737 jet arriving from Guantanamo Bay to a naval air station in Jacksonville slid off the runway into the St. Johns River. These are photos from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. The naval air station tells us there were 136 passengers and seven air crew on board. Now to Decision 2020. There are new indications Mayor de Blasio is planning to announce a run for the White House. His political team is denying a daily news report that the announcement is set for next Wednesday. This morning, the U.S. and South Korea are analyzing North Korea's short-range missile launches. South Korea officials say the two countries are carefully responding to the North's actions. Back at home, members of Congress toured the Hudson River train tunnel this weekend. And now it feels like there's a real push to get funding for the much-needed gateway project. But as News 4's Andrew Siff reports, that's not the only one that could use the federal government's help. Coming up on Today in New York on this Saturday morning, new details on a crime at the house of a real housewife. And Bag Ban will tell you the latest city banning single-use plastics and what it means for your next trip to the grocery store. In New Jersey, a dozen high school students are facing charges after taking part in a classroom brawl. It happened at Dwight Murrow High School in Inglewood Tuesday. Take a look at this video. Oh my goodness. Six adult students and five juvenile students were charged with failure to disperse. Another minor was charged with disorderly conduct and trespassing. We're told it all started with an argument that escalated out of control. Still ahead on this Saturday morning, the News 4i team investigates vital questions about your privacy. Paisley Chang shows you how your online photo could become the face of a criminal. A special I-team investigation next on Today in New York.